What's good, YouTube? Chris from Tim Innovation here to bring you guys my top five cars to pick up right now. Yes, not tomorrow, right now. So without further ado, let's begin. These cars are going to be a compile. Some cars are going to be compilations of cars together, and some cars are going to be single cars. But these are all good pickups that are relatively cheap right now that you might want to pick up before they be more expensive. Post Nationals. Starting off my list with Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler is a really great car. Stopping Miles Effect. You guys already know what it does, so no need for me to explain. Effect Veiler. The car is like five bucks right now for the Super. Commons are God knows how much. The reason why you guys want to pick up Effect Veilers right now is for one, they're dirt cheap. And for two, Effect Negation is always going to be really good. And for three, with the potential chance of the next format being an FTK format, due to the Ignites being released in the TCG and all the FTKs that we're all seeing that can be found easily on Mega Capital G's channel and Asian Knight's channel. The um, Ignite FTK seems fairly consistent, so Effect Veiler will be a pretty good card to pick up because that can pretty much stop the Ignite deck in its tracks when it go into the Phoenix mode. So starting at number one, I got a favorite. Number two, I got Love Ball Ball Chain. Now this is for two sets from now. And this is mainly for the Clown Blade deck with the release of Performance Trick Clown. Link can be found on the screen for my um, video talking about how good Performance Trick Clown really is. But yeah, when um, that card come out, Lavala Chain is going to be a pretty, pretty, a pretty decent penny due to the fact that you can Lavala Chain, send the um, Clown to the graveyard, then if you have your other combo so you, piece, you can send Thousand Blades to the graveyard, bring them both out, and have a free XYZ monster. So, number two, I'm going to have a Lavala Chain because it's like eight bucks right now, eight to ten bucks. That's relatively cheap for a card that's really that, that good and versatile. Number three, I have the Telenite Tel Teleomis and Constellar Diamond. And Pallades. Now, these got these for um, future reference whenever the Cyber Dragon Nova thing come out. But these are all solid cards. Um, I said Pallades are really good. But I want to talk about the Telemite card. The Telemite card has been running in my hero deck. It has been really great. Because you can make it first turn like a Monster Monster, Overland, Telemite for Teleomis, In Phase, Equip, Constellar Diamond. Then on your opponent's turn, you can change after it is affecting your opponent's turn. To make a Blaze, Tyrus, Zemeo, whatever you want to do. But right now, the main thing people are playing in the OCG are is just play basic Blaze and Cyber Dragon Nova. So, why these, all these cards are really cheap right now? It's like, why not pick them up? They're good cards. You're going to be using them later anyway. Get them now while they're cheap rather than getting them in the future when they're like 20, 30 bucks a piece. I think Constellar Diamond is like 7 bucks as well. And that's another solid card because our format is running up BA, Shadows, and a bunch of other dark decks that we that not even relevant, but the fact of the matter is, these are all really good cards that are pretty solid and it can be ran in today's meta and tomorrow's meta. So, pick up all those cards right now while they're cheap before they go up in price. Um, I'm going to have good synchro monsters, and this is based on, once again, o OCG. And that's from number four, and then number five, and one of the say, um, Gisky Chain. That's based on OCG. Now, number four and number five is kind of fused together because good synchro monsters was mainly because on uh, when. I believe Necros post nationals are gonna get hit. So when they got hit in Japan for the first time, they got pretty much slaughtered. And a lot of Japanese players started using Deathbot cards to make a synchro version of Necros. So I feel like post nationals this year, Necros might get a little slaughtered with the ban list. And a lot of American players are already talking about how they are eventually gonna start implementing cards like Glow Bulb into their Necros decks to make it more synchro play. So I feel like why not pick up the good synchros now while they're pretty much in a at a decent price rather than a future when they go up in price. So I feel like it's not a um, bad gamble to pick up good synchros. Synchros are always be, always be valuable once the game dies. So you get everything now when it's cheap. Truly the best time to pick up cars is the day after nationals. So that's when the format's pretty stale. There's no big events coming up. You have the Worlds. Then you have the next regional season in the winter. So good synchros in general is just a good pick up. So get everything um, now and after Nationals when it's really cheap. And obviously Gisky Chain because almost every Necros deck in um, Japan right now runs three Gisky Chain because they're consistently have got hidden a lot. So with all that being said, I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of cards to pick up right now. If you guys know any cheap cards to pick up, let me know in the comments section down below to help us team innovation members out. So once again, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for support. It's always coming down in the comment section below if you guys thought about this video at hand. 
And of course, in these videos, I truly believe you have you guys become better players. Also, these videos, I truly believe you guys help me become better players. This is Crimson from Team Innovation signing out. Peace, guys. Stay innovative.